fold scope starts off as three basic parts. You have a sheet of paper that's been cut in various ways. Um, you have a magnetic coupler, and you have a lens, which is the most important part. The first thing you do is you punch out all the different pieces of the fold scope. So this is the first part. This is your, um, this is your um, panning stage, and then you have your illumination stage. This is also another part that we call the butterfly. So after you pop out all of the parts of it, you also remove this center part. And this center part. So then you're left with this piece. Um, the second main part of the fold scope is uh, the part that we usually tell children call is called the turtle. Um, and the turtle is the illumination stage. This is the stage that holds both whatever your light source is. Um, your light source can also just be sunlight or regular light outside. Um, and it also holds the lens all the way over here. Um, this is the part that moves inside of the panning stage. So once you have both of your parts completely punched out, you're left with something that looks like this. So the first fold that you make is you fold the, um, this part upwards along these back perforations to, to lie like that. Then you fold it along the second uh, part of the perforations in order to make a something square where a slide will fit in. Then you take the wings of the butterfly, call this part the butterfly, you take the wings and you weave them under and then over the um, back part of the uh, colored panning stage. And you want to make sure everything lies flat. And that, you, that goes like that. Then you fold this flap upwards and slip it into this fold that's right behind the fold scope logo. So that's the completed part of the butterfly or the panning stage. Then you go to the turtle. You have to take out all these other little parts that are left behind, um, especially to make sure that these holes are clear because that's where your light is going to come through. You take, you fold this to the back, and you two, there's four slots in the back of the fold scope. One, two, three, four. Take the tail of the turtle, and you put it through the last slot, all the way through until it doesn't go anymore and he turns the corner and he lies flat. Then you turn it back to the front and you fold the top part of the illumination stage over so it lies flat like that. You again take his tail and you weave it through underneath here and also underneath here. Then you take his tail again, and you want to make another handle so that you can pan around. What you do is you fold it once here, and then once again. Then you take this tab that's right here, and you put it into the end right here. The tab goes into this slot. Then that's steady, and you have two handles to be able to do your panning with. One of the last steps is you turn it back to the, to the back of the um, fold scope. You take this head part, loosen it out. You put it through this slot right here. 
then on the side, it comes back through and you put it into this slot here. That locks the illumination stage into, into place so that um, the entire thing is able to move independently. So this is how you pan over your sample. Then you want to fold up these little flaps so that you're able to um, have your slide held well. So you fold them like that and like that. And at the bottom, you fold them like that and like that. Um, one of the last steps is we take it, fold it to the back again. We fold up these um, small edges. That just adds a little bit of stiffness so when you're focusing, it doesn't bend as much. So you take both of those, fold them up like that. And that is a mostly completed full scope. The last step that we do is we put all the little arms through there, through there. There. So this is a fold scope that's completed, completely folded, but it doesn't work right now. You can see all the way through it, but you need to put in the light, the, the um, magnetic coupler, and the lens. So these two parts are what makes it into a fold scope. So first you take the magnetic coupler. You want to make sure the line of holes lines up with the fold scope logo. So you put it through here, and then also under here. So now that those holes line up there, you can press them into place. The last thing that locks it into place is the lens. So you take the lens, you put it underneath like this, so it matches up with that hole, and then you press it into place. And there you have a fully working fold scope with the lens. So now you have a fully working fold scope that has the magnetic coupler, the lens, and all of the parts folded together. This is how you pan in your sample, and this is how you fold, uh, you focus back and forth like this. So here, when you have your completed fold scope, you just take it and you look at any light source. So you look at the sun like this, and you can pan over your, your sample and see anything. The last thing that you can do is if you take a slide, so this is a piece of pancreas, um, you, can take, you take your sample, you put it under here, and through to there. What you do is you take your smartphone and you, there's another magnetic coupler. So it's on your smartphone. You go to the camera mode. You're able to see camera. And you're like that. Then if it lines up correctly, you're able to see some pancreas. So then you're able to pan over it and look at different parts of the pancreas. Along with your fold scope, on your fold scope paper, you come, it comes with six paper slides. So the way that a paper slide works is you punch it out similar to the way you punched out your other pieces. Um, you take out this center part and you have a slide like this. You take cellophane tape You put it on one side. You take your sample, which in this case is a small mosquito, like that. And you take another piece of tape and put it on top of it. Then you have your sample in trapped inside of your piece of tape. You take two other slides.
with all three slides. So um, three slides together is the same height as a glass slide. So you take all three slides and you put them inside of your fold scope. And then you can image whatever you just saw. So you have your phone again. You can look at, this is, a, I guess, a mosquito. I think it's a mosquito. So there's the wing of the mosquito. The other wing is its leg, antenna.